SpaceX's rise in the space industry has reached a point where established agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency are increasingly relying on its services. In today's video, we'll explore how SpaceX came to the rescue of the famous European Space Agency, potentially saving it from a costly and embarrassing situation. But before we delve deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more future updates about the space industry. SpaceX has demonstrated remarkable achievements in missions involving human crew. Their collaboration with NASA is a good example of its capabilities. The company's Crew Dragon spacecraft under NASA's Commercial Crew Program has successfully carried astronauts to and from the International Space Station. The Demo-2 mission in May 2020 was a milestone, being the first crewed launch from U.S. soil since the Space Shuttle program ended in 2011. Following this, SpaceX has conducted several Crew Dragon missions for NASA, including Crew-1, Crew-2, and Crew-3, consistently delivering astronauts safely to the International Space Station. It's like when you use a great product and recommend it to your friends. SpaceX's success with NASA has led other space agencies to take notice. The European Space Agency, inspired by SpaceX's track record with NASA, recently partnered with SpaceX for the Axiom Mission 3. This mission, an all-European commercial astronaut mission to the International Space Station, was launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The European Space Agency has faced a notable limitation. They are still not able to independently send humans into space. The agency developed the Hermes space plane for crewed missions, but the project was eventually cancelled in 1992. As a result, the agency relied on international partners for crewed missions, lacking its own crewed spaceflight capability. This constraint has not only been a source of embarrassment for the agency, but also restricted European astronauts' access to the International Space Station. However, the landscape is changing, thanks in part to SpaceX's innovative approach to space travel. The January 18th crewed launch by SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket is clear evidence. This mission was very important, particularly for the European Space Agency, as it carried four of their astronauts to the International Space Station. Significantly, it was the first crewed mission to space in 2024. Managing crewed missions like this one is inherently more challenging than uncrewed ones, as they require higher safety standards, more complex life support systems, and rigorous training for the astronauts. In contrast, uncrewed missions are generally easier and cheaper to execute. Without the need to support human life, these missions can bypass the extensive safety protocols. Moreover, uncrewed missions can utilize spacecraft that are more compact and lighter, as they don't need to accommodate astronauts and their life support systems. This results in lower fuel requirements and potentially simpler mission profiles. In 2023, SpaceX had a remarkable launch record, with a total of 98 rockets launched. This impressive count included 91 Falcon 9S, 5 Falcon Heavies, and 2 Starships. Out of the 98 launches by SpaceX, there were 12 crewed flights. These included government and commercial missions. Some of the most important ones include Crew-6 and Crew-7, which were part of NASA's crew rotations to the International Space Station. Another notable mission was the Polaris Dawn, the first mission of the Polaris program, aiming to demonstrate SpaceX's first spacewalk. In 2024, SpaceX is planning an ambitious launch schedule of nearly 150 missions. This increased frequency includes five significant crewed missions. The Crew-8 and Crew-9 flights are scheduled for NASA in February and August, respectively. The Axiom Space 3 mission, launching on January 17th, and Axiom Space 4, targeted for October, are also part of the plan. Additionally, the Polaris Dawn mission, a free-flying mission to low-Earth orbit featuring the first-ever spacewalk by a private astronaut, is set for April. However, there is one particular rocket in SpaceX's 2024 lineup that's generating even more anticipation than the crewed missions, and that's the Starship. When discussing SpaceX's Starship, it's essential to consider the three critical aspects that define any rocket. Size, cost, and risk. Starship is a big project with ambitious goals, especially in terms of its potential impact on cost and risk. Rocket launches used to be so expensive that only big government agencies like NASA, funded by tax money, could afford them. The reliance on government funding meant there was little pressure to innovate or find ways to reduce costs. This is a major reason why older rockets were so expensive. 
the entrance of private companies into space exploration, led by Musk with SpaceX, changed this. Musk focused on making space travel cheaper. He didn't just want to build less expensive rockets, he wanted to change how space travel was done. This led to the development of reusable rockets, like SpaceX's Falcon series. This was a big shift from the old way where rockets were used once and then discarded. And most recently, Musk made a statement about the estimated cost of launching the Starship, indicating that these costs could be significantly lower than current standards in the industry. He suggested that the price per launch could potentially drop to less than $10 million, and in some cases, even as low as $2 million. This figure is hard to believe, especially when considering the scale and technology of Starship. SpaceX is looking at several ways to achieve these low costs. Choosing stainless steel for Starship's construction is a significant step since it's both cheaper and more durable than materials like carbon fiber. The cost-saving potential here is substantial, as stainless steel costs around $3 per kilogram, compared to the much higher prices of other materials. Another key strategy is streamlining the production process to build more rockets efficiently. By adopting mass production techniques, SpaceX aims to lower the manufacturing costs of each rocket. This approach is similar to methods used in the automotive industry and could be a game-changer for rocket production. The reusability of Starship is perhaps the most critical factor in reducing costs. The design of Starship allows both its upper stage and the Super Heavy booster to be reused. This contrasts with traditional rockets, which are mostly expendable after a single use. Reusing these major components could dramatically reduce the cost per launch. Comparing Starship to SpaceX's existing rockets puts its ambitious cost targets into perspective. The Falcon 9, which costs about $67 million per launch, and the Falcon Heavy, priced around $90 million per launch, are already considered cost-effective in the industry due to their partial reusability. A single Falcon 9 can carry approximately 60 satellites per launch. Each Starlink satellite weighs around 260 kilograms, making the total payload roughly 15,600 kilograms per launch. Starship, with its full reusability, is expected to significantly surpass these capabilities. It is designed to carry over 100 tons to orbit, which is a considerable increase compared to Falcon 9. This means Starship could theoretically carry around 400 Starlink satellites in a single launch, assuming the satellites are similar in size and weight to the current models. This would not only increase the speed of deploying the Starlink network, but also reduce the costs associated with multiple launches. In terms of revenue, the potential is even more impressive. If Starship can carry more satellites per launch, the cost per satellite deployment decreases. It's important to know that SpaceX's Starship is still in its developmental stage. This means the current costs of its launches are considerably higher than the future estimates provided by Musk. SpaceX has spent a substantial amount on the Starship vehicle and its launch infrastructure. As of 2023, this investment is estimated to be around $5 billion. In addition to SpaceX's own investment, NASA has also contributed financially to the Starship project. SpaceX received a major funding milestone from NASA as part of a $2.9 billion contract to develop a crewed Starship moon lander and perform at least two major test flights, one uncrewed and one crewed. This contract is a significant part of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon. While NASA had previously complained about delays in Starship's development, the year 2023 saw notable progress with two orbital test flights of the spacecraft. However, both of these tests ended in the explosion of the vehicles. The first orbital flight test took place on April 20, 2023. But unfortunately, it ended with the destruction of the vehicle four minutes into the flight over the Gulf of Mexico. The second integrated flight test occurred on November 18, 2023, with major improvements made after the first test. This included enhancements in the Super Heavy's fire suppression system and the implementation of a hot stage separation system. Despite these improvements, this flight too ended in the vehicle's destruction after more than eight minutes of powered flight.
SpaceX is gearing up for the third Starship orbital launch, which is targeted for the first quarter of 2024, most likely in February or March. This upcoming launch is expected to build on the learnings from the previous tests and further advance the Starship program. The company has been preparing for this launch with static fire tests of both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship Upper Stage, and they are anticipating the FAA license to come through in February. One of the primary cost drivers for Starship is its engines. The Raptor engines have evolved to become more powerful, yet simpler and cheaper to produce. The Raptor engines utilize a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen as propellants. This choice contrasts with the Merlin engines of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The use of methane is strategic, aligning with SpaceX's vision of Mars colonization since methane can potentially be manufactured on Mars. Additionally, methane offers a higher specific impulse compared to traditional rocket fuels, meaning it provides more thrust for the same amount of fuel. Furthermore, methane burns cleaner than RP-1. In the development of the Raptor engines, SpaceX has focused on simplifying the design to make them cheaper and easier to produce. This simplification has involved changes in the engine's internal architecture, aiming to reduce the number of parts and streamline the assembly process. Emphasis has also been placed on mass production, with the goal of manufacturing Raptors on a scale not previously seen in the aerospace industry. By increasing the production rate, SpaceX aims to lower the cost per engine. The cost reduction in engine production is a crucial factor in lowering the overall cost of Starship launches. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.